I was going to ask you, uh, you tell me the story on how you and Alchemist met and how he became a part of the uh, Soul Assassin. I met Al when he was like 13. I had his manager, um, and they was like, hey, you want to make a lot of money? And I was like, well, what are you talking about? So we got this little rap group. Two little white kids from Beverly Hills. And I was like, get that bullshit the fuck out of here. The other I dude was James Constant. Yeah, I didn't meet him. I didn't see him. I was just like, the concept of that shit was like, were well, you trying to do like a crisscross? Yeah, yeah but a white crisscross. Baby, baby like House a of Pain. I was yeah. like, so I think they ended up bringing him to Be Real and Be Real worked with him. But then I met Al and I was like, oh, this kid's cool as fuck. He reminds me of me. Mm. Like just like just tenacious fucking worker. Like worker and just the love and the fucking and smart and just work and work and work and just on point. I was like, okay, I'm going to give this kid access and let him be around. And then like, I'm going to just cut all this shit you have to go through and just put you right here. You with the biggest group in the world now, in the studio, going on tour, hanging out, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And just like give him access. Because I knew all he needed to do was be around it. He's such a fucking smart kid and such a sponge. You'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Just give him access to the shit. Was it? Um, was he always wanting to step away from rapping and just focus on producing? When I met him, he didn't make beats yet. Okay. And then when he did, that first time, they was they wasn't... They weren't. He I was, mean, of course, he was learning. Yeah, you know, he, was he was learning. Was learning. Yeah. He was really. He was a real premier fan, and and it was just like you know some C level premier like kid shit. And he was just. I'd be like, nah, that's not it, bro. But you knew, like, I always knew Al has that that that's it that it thing that special fucking thing. Like he's just fuck whatever Al decided he wanted to do, he was gonna be successful in it. You know what I mean? He's just that smart and that fucking that 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 much of a hard worker and that got that much focus. So, you know, we just. Brought him, put him under my wing. It's like, you know, his, he starts seeing how records, albums are made, how studio sessions are run, you know, and the little tricks, the little behind the shit going on tour with us, carrying the, carrying the crates and shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're on fucking big festival tours, you know what I mean? At fucking 15 years old. How? Leaving, leaving school. Yeah, crazy. And then eventually, you know, now he's, he's Alchemist. <laughs> I mean, Grammy nominated. God, <laughs> he's the illest in the game right now, man. I, I I agree, man. I, I I was just saying, like his like last couple year run has been like, it's so crazy. Like think about the stuff he's done with Boldy, with Freddie. Like he's just been just relentless. He hasn't done nothing different. He's been working this hard all these years. It just you know it's just timing. It just it's the perfect storm. You mm-hmm. know, it's like the the way the music is and the the way the the, the, uh, the what we like's the, the culture's growing and then just the right artists at the right times with all the momentum he's built up over the years. You know what I'm saying? I was going to ask you, um, your production process, how much has it changed over the years? Because back in the day, everybody would have their go-to equipment. Nowadays, like, I'll, like, know guys who I never, ever thought would touch, like, a digital platform, like, who will only be on Ableton or they'll only be on Pro Tools. Like, what is your yeah, process I, um, like? It was the same for me, man. I was using the SP-12. I moved over to the MPC, and then it just, I wanted to do some electronic shit for fun. And I was like, how do you do this shit? And I, oh, I can't do it on this shit. I got to learn this fucking computer. And I was like, I was the last motherfucker, bro, to fuck with the computer. Like you were hanging on to the... I was hanging on to two-inch everything. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck it. So I just took a year and just worked on some electronic music and just took a year and just dialed, just worked on the, the machine until I figured out like, oh, I can get my sound out of this thing. Because it, it turned into a lot more um, sound design and... and you know, getting into the fucking the the effects. Yeah, there's plugins for everything. Yeah, yeah and then having having a, and not having to have a big studio and learn everything and fucking plugging everything in and, and just having it right there at my fingertips. I was like, I actually, it started getting fun again for me, mm. like super fun again. You know, and then and then my, my 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 daughter got to a certain age where I was like, oh, I don't got to fucking be there all the time. So you know, it was like six years ago is when I was like, oh, it's about me again now. It's my time. Mm-hmm. Kids are raised. Shit's all good. I right, y'all, I love everybody, but it's my time. It's, I'm, I'm gonna be greedy now. It's the most freest I've ever I'm gonna go been. Dive you know in, what I mean? dive right back in. And so I think we've done like you know 34, 35 projects in the last six years. 